corals, besides that they are a beautiful environment, are a unique feature of the ocean. It covers a tiny uh, part of the ocean area, but it's probably the most diverse system in the ocean, containing something like 25% of the creatures that live in the ocean. The coral reefs suffer from degradation, uh, from pollution, from uh, human activities. Uh, the coral reef is a very intense system, very complex, and totally dependent on the flow. If water will not bring nutrition, food, if water will not bring the little creatures, the zooplankton, for the corals, if water will not remove all the disposal, the corals will not survive. And the flow of water around the corals and in between the coral branches is a key element that we study for years in order to explain different phenomena that is essential for the well-being of the reefs. If you want to measure something, usually you have to put an instrument that will measure it. With flow, it's a big problem, because when you put an instrument inside the water, it will change the flow of the water. So what we want to do is to do it without any interference, and we do that by light. The system that we're using is UPIV, Underwater Particle Image Velocimeter. The system is uh, hanged on a metal frame that we have to first put in the water. Then on this metal frame, which is stable and doesn't move, even though there are streams and waves and so forth, we put boxes, sealed boxes, that will contain the lasers system, the optics, the electronics, and in another box we have a very special imaging system, which is a camera with lens with special control. We have divers that work together with us. We are working at night. We have to have a black background for those images. The corals, the coral skeleton that we receive from the Natural Reserve Authority that we arrange uh, during the day on the bottom of the sea will be uh, measured by this system. We just illuminate natural particles that live in the water and now we start to collect images. We collect thousands of thousands of images and then me and my students and my researchers are working together on analyzing this data. And after several months of hard work we can actually describe in great details the flow in the coral reef. And having that in hand we can now try to predict what will happen. Our hope that by this very special collaboration between biologists and engineers and physicists will solve the challenge of keeping the coral reef in good health, but also we'll be able to use the reef in order to better understand the mathematical formulation of models, future models, of flow in very complex environments, such as forests, cities, urban areas, and rivers and streams and wetlands. The IOI is the only place uh, in Israel and one of the unique places in the world that uh, people can do such research. It's a great combination of great fun working in the coral, very complex problem and very, very good science. So if we will be able to have enough bright graduate students that will later use the information and knowledge that they collected in such a project to answer other research questions, we gain uh, a great deal.